Well, hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. This week, we're pausing from our Life God's Way series to look at how we measure our discipleship, at least at Bethel. Mm -hmm. We measure it by answering six questions. So today we're answering this one. With whom am I sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ? So what does this have to do with being a disciple of Jesus? Well, there's a great passage in 1 Peter. Um, I'm going to read it right now. It says, If someone asks about your hope as a believer, always be ready to explain it. So telling people about Jesus or giving God credit openly isn't something that's optional for mm us. -hmm. Uh, it's risky, for sure, sure. but um, optional, no. <laughs> okay. And I bet you have a story about that. Well, sure, sure. Um, you know, I had a student who was going through a difficult time. Uh, and because of school rules, even though it was a you know Christian university, I thought this was a bit strange. Um, they didn't want us to... There were so many non-Christians present that they didn't want professors openly praying with students. Um, and so I wasn't supposed to pray, even though um, I, was in a, it was, I was teaching a Bible class. But since I was the theology chair, I just decided to forget the rules. Um, it was right there in the middle of class. Uh, well, he was in the middle of the classroom, and class hadn't started. And, and um, I just s simply asked him if, if I could pray for him right there, and, and we did, and he wanted that. Mm -hmm. And I think that was a modest way of sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ, bringing Jesus into that space of his pain, even while others were listening in. Yeah, so, so really sharing the gospel doesn't have to be about converting someone. Uh, it can be, you know, something as small as just having a prayer with them. Sure, and, and you know, conversion is God's business. We introduce them to Jesus, um, but the Holy Spirit takes care of the rest. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's important that, that we, we know what the gospel is in terms of its content and that we're always ready to tell it to others when... When, when it's needed, because let's face it, these days we can't assume that people know Jesus or even the Bible. Yeah, and it's a good practice to learn to articulate that for yes, the opportunity that it comes is. up. Um, okay, you ready to close? Sure. Okay. Lord, thank you for the moments and the opportunities you give us to show and tell others about your good news through actions, through prayers, even by laying out what the good news is. Give us eyes to see the hurt around us. Give us ears to hear the deep needs of people. Then give us courage to do what you would do in words that you would say. Help us to be like you. Amen. Amen. And thanks for, again for joining us today for this uh, week's video devotions. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And until then, wherever you are and whatever uh, situation God may plant you in today, have a blessed day. Bye-bye, everybody.